Hey, what's up? I'm Heidi Mitro, Body Mind Coach and owner of the new Next Level Body Mind Coaching. And we are talking grief. Now, when we broached the subject of redefining grief, my initial reaction was to talk about the pandemic, right? To talk about this collective grief that we are experiencing as a world. And so many of my clients are navigating grief in a different way. And with grief comes loss, comes this place of like losing something that felt certain. Grief can hit us from so many different directions and in so many different ways. And most of us have not been shown like an effective method of grieving. Oftentimes when clients are coming to me, they're like, I don't even actually know what I'm feeling. I just feel off or I feel overwhelmed or I'm, I feel like I, everything feels so heavy. And sometimes even just giving the physiology a name like grief can allow you to actually unfold inside of grief. We tend to be really scared of things that are going to be intense. We tend to doubt our capacity to actually do something difficult. My earliest memory of grief was around the loss of a child in our community. And I remember being at the funeral for this little boy and I was about his age and I felt everything. It was such an impactful experience. And I remember being at the funeral home and his bike was there. And I remember thinking like, I, that looks like my bike. And I wept. I was so affected by the loss of this little boy and so affected by the tremendous outpouring of emotion. But it also felt very true. It felt very honest. There was a, a weeping and wailing because this was the loss of a child. And I remember leaving that experience a little unnerved at my own capacity to feel something so intense. And also this understanding that when you love deeply, that there is <laughs> a guarantee almost of loss. And I, I think what we're experiencing collectively right now as a culture around this tremendous loss, around this tremendous experience of our certainty being in question, that the physiology of grief matters. How do you experience grief? Do you allow spaciousness for it? Do you allow for weeping and wailing and the intensity of something that may overtake you? I worked with a client once who had lost a partner to suicide. And the phrase that she used was, I didn't realize that I could hurt this much and not die. And I sat with her in this pain and in this grief, and I was a witness to it. And I thought that I knew about grief before I started my massage practice. I thought that I had, I was pretty mature about <laughs> loss until I met a mother who had lost a child and all of the platitudes of God needed another angel and everything happens for a reason. And all of these things that we say just felt so hollow and so false. And then I met a woman who lost her partner. And then this young woman who lost her partner to suicide. And what I have recognized is that sitting in grief with someone is a privilege bearing witness to someone's humanity, to the intensity with which people can feel, to holding a sacred space for them while they are grieving, to say the honest thing, which is, this is awful. This is so challenging. I am so profoundly sorry that this is so hard and I see you, and I will be here. Is, there's a, a humanity 
to grief. And there is also a vulnerability in grief. And when we can first and foremost identify that we are feeling grief, whether it's about a loss of someone or the loss of a, a perceived certainty or a conscious choice, you can grieve as a choice as well. If you leave a job, if you leave a relationship, if you begin something new, grief and loss are buddies and they go together. Understanding your physiology, giving space for the weeping and wailing, really acknowledging that there is a complexity and an incredible simplicity to grief. There is the paradox. And I hope that in this issue that you experience a permission to grieve however long, however intensely, however lightly you need to grieve. I hope that in this issue you have an opportunity to question your experience with grief and make room for unresolved grief. So I'm super curious how you were taught to grieve, if it was offered to you, if it was modeled for you. I would love, I truly would love <laughs> to know. And if you are experiencing grief now, what is the method that you're using to navigate your, your current grief? I, I genuinely want to know. So reach out to me <laughs> and stay tuned, man. This conversation is just beginning. And I'm, I'm really grateful to be in this sacred shared space to be able to have these really intense and necessary conversations about our human experience from a body mind aligned place. So, so wonderful to have you here. I hope you're getting questions answered and more questions revealed to you. And uh, stay tuned. We have so much more to share. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. This is Body Mind Living with Laura Wick. Thanks for watching.